Hey guys, welcome back to Zilla Cabs. I'm Joe, and in this video we're going to take a deep look at Celestion's legendary Vintage 30 speaker. So before we get started, I just want to make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel, um, hit the bell icon for notifications, because we're going to be looking at this speaker in a couple of different settings. Today we're looking at it in our 1x12 cabs. I've got it loaded here in our compact 1x12. Uh, this is an open back cab. But a little bit of background on the speaker. Um, it's one of Celestion's more popular designs, and I'm sure some of you guys will be really familiar with it. Um, aimed at the hard rock style again, but has taken favour in, in all sorts of styles. Um, you often see these in um, like 1x12 boutique combos, as well as sounding great in 4x12s completely loaded with this speaker. Called the Vintage 30, but it's actually a 60 watt speaker. Um, so it's a great amount of power handling there for um, use with all sorts of different amplifiers. So characteristically, this speaker's got a tight bottom end, um, a strongly detailed mid-range with that upper mid presence that um, has become sort of a characteristic of this the sound of the speaker and I think that helps it add a bit of cut and aggression which has found favour with uh, some of the heavier styles that you get to use a lot with especially when paired with a Shure SM57 that's, that's become a classic recorded sound for, um, for heavy metal guys but as I say make sure you subscribe we're going to have a look at this speaker in a couple of different settings uh, the 2x12s and 4x12s down the road in some other videos um, but today I've got it loaded in the compact 1x12 here open back cab uh, on the way in you heard me playing over a loop with some overdrive with the Les Paul. Let's pair it back to a clean sound and get the Strat. Alright so I'm plugged into Paul's 78 Marshall JMP uh, with the Strat. Um, just a little bit of, of a push on the front end but this amp set pretty clean so together they're sounding like this. So even though this is quite often thought of as a hard rock style uh, speaker, I think it still sounds really great with a clean sound. Um, really big and full bodied. And that high mid range detail just allows it to poke through. So um, yeah, that's really nice to listen to. Uh, definitely not a speaker to overlook if you're playing in those styles predominantly. I think it does that stuff really well. Let's just push the drive a little bit and see what kind of breakup sounds we get with the Strat. So that's that sort of classic neck pickup strat sound that I really love. Um, just a little bit of a mid push into a Marshall, um, and yeah, that speaker just making it sound all sound great. Let's put some humbuckers in front of the Marshall and see how the speaker handles the classic rock kind of sound. <laughs>
So it's sounding really thick and big for those sort of classic uh, Marshall big chords. Um, let's try some lead stuff with the humbuckers. <laughs> So for me, we're getting plenty of that upper mid-range poking through there, which, um, yeah, as I say, can really help with getting the speaker to this sound to cut through in a band mix. Um, let's try upping it a bit more to see what kind of uh, heavy rock and metal sort of sounds we can get from this speaker. We will switch over to this speaker in a closed back cab shortly, but let's see where we can push this to where we are now. So this is the high input or channel two on the JMP with a little bit of a push from the TC Mojo Mojo Overdrive. <laughs> So that sounds class to me, uh, a great classic rock slash hard rock uh, martial sort of rhythm sound. Speaker delivering that really well. Um, I'm always impressed by how much bottom end this compact delivers as well in the room, considering it's an open back cab. But let's load the speaker into a Fat Baby 1x12 closed back cab and see what sounds we get there. All right, so I've loaded the speaker into the Fat Baby. So we've got a closed back cab now. With exactly the same sound on the Marshall, let's see how uh, this affects things. So in the room for me, it sounded a lot more focused in the low end, a lot tighter, uh, a bit more of a modern kind of characteristic for me, um, which leads me towards thinking that we can up the gain here and it's going to handle it really well. So let's try doing that. So the Marshall JMP is um, it's a similar, it's the 2204, it's a 50 watt, so it's the same circuitry as the JCM 800. So this is the, the preamp input dimed. So with some hotter pickups, you can get a bit more gain out of it, but um, it's by no means like a, a modern high gain metal amp. But if we push it, if we push the front end of the pedal, we should be able to get uh, get some more gain out of it. So let's try doing that. So I think it's pretty clear to see why people like this uh, speaker for, for the high gain kind of stuff. Um, loads of clarity, um, really full bodied, but with plenty of cut. Um, and sounds really aggressive in the mid range, I think. Let's try adding a down tuned guitar. So this is my Demon SV, uh, it's tuned into C sharp standard. And I've just dialed back a little bit of the mids on the Marshall. 
and up the level a bit on the boost in front. So let's see if we can get some something a bit more aggressive out of it. So sounding really thick and aggressive. Um, I think if you want to get some of that more traditional uh, modern heavy metal sound, you probably want to be sticking the speaker into a slightly bigger cab. And as I say, we'll have a look at some of that uh, stuff in upcoming videos where we'll, we'll prompt this speaker into a 2x12 and maybe a 4x12 as well and see what kind of sounds we can get there. Um, but as you can tell, this sound is something the speaker does really well. Um, Again, I think it's key for those upper mids there, just allowing it to poke through and shaping the sort of aggressive sound. Because it's, you hear a lot about the Vintage 30s mid-range. It's still generally a scooped kind of sound, but um, as a lot of guitar sounds are really. But um, that it's just that upper mid detail that just has a, a certain sort of aggressive quality to it that um, I think makes the speaker really popular for those kind of styles. But that being said, I still think it's worth checking out what the speaker can do uh, for cleaner styles in a closed back cab. So I'll play us out with a Strat. Um, and before I do that, I'd just like to remind you please to hit the subscribe button um, and the bell icon for notifications so you get those uh, notifications when our new videos come out. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. As ever, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what this speaker does, uh, what your favourite sounds were, what your experience with this speaker is and what other speakers you'd like us to take a look at in the future. So um, yeah, stick around and we'll see you next week for another video. Thanks.